Hello everyone, Minikins here. Today I'm going to share with you my Arch Tempered Destroyer build. This is aimed at players looking to beat the monster to get the armor pieces. It is by no means a speedrunning set, but rather a fine balance between damage and survival. This Teostra Gamma armor is really nice and will be utilized in many of my future builds. It's something you definitely want to get your hands on. It has the same set bonus as the Behemoth armor, Master's Touch, which prevents sharpness loss on critical hits. I love this skill. This Kazer set only requires 3 pieces to be equipped for the bonus, which can be mixed and matched with the older Alpha and Beta Kazer set. Even though it's the same name, you cannot mix the Behemoth and Kazer armor for Master's Touch. These are some items that I think will be useful for the fight. All of these buffs in the bag stack, so do your best to keep on top of them. These wet fish fins, although not needed, can be very helpful. They shorten the sharpening animation. I'll show you. Here is a normal animation. The wet fish fin animation. And now the wet fish fin plus animation. You can get these from fishing and the Argosy. This is a build I made for Longsword, but it could very easily be adapted for other weapons. I've tried to balance out the armors I've used so I do not have negative fire resistance. I wanted to have at least 5 fire resist so when I get elemental large at the canteen I would reach 20 or more. This would not only reduce the fire damage taken, but it prevents the fire blight. Teostra is weak to water, so I'm using the Durotoda's Water Longsword. I would have used the Terra Sword Mire if the game would drop me more Warrior Streamstone Swords. But since I already had this one augmented with Health Region, it's the one I'm using. The Divine Slasher would also work in this build, just make sure you have your weapon augmented with Health Region. The main skills I find useful for survival are Blast resistant. This helps a lot as the Arch Teostra produces a lot more blast dust, which can be difficult to avoid, especially when it's everywhere. Health boost. Having this extra HP allows you to survive Supernova, Teostra's deadliest attack. You could drop one Vitality Jewel to exchange for a water attack since level 3 health does leave you with HP, but having extra health will allow you to play more aggressively. Recovery Up. This increases every recovery effect on you by 30%. That includes your health region augment on your weapon. It makes your potions much more potent too. With this skill, it's often even faster to attack to get your HP up than it is to sheath your weapon and take a potion. Recovery Speed. This combined with an Immunizer really makes the red portion of the health go up fast. If you ever get knocked down, the red portion of the health is almost fully recovered by the time you get back up. On top of all these survival skills, I've managed to add a lot of damage skills as well. Weakness Exploit and Maximum Might, that's 80% crit, and my weapon has another 10%. 90% crit rate, white level sharpness from the handicraft, attack from peak performance, critical boost, and protective polish. All these skills should help you on your way to defeating the Arch Tempered Teostra. I hope you found this video useful. Please support the channel by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.